Federal agents are investigating a $100,000 donation to the city by a developer, reportedly in exchange for the mayor's approval for revisions to a major project in Kearney Mesa. A 10 News investigation broke the story. Here with further details is 10 News investigative reporter Mitch Blocker. Mitch, welcome back. Thanks, Peggy. Give us an overview of what you found as far as the Department of Justice investigating this issue. So specifically, I mean, we don't know exactly what the Department of Justice is investigating. We know that there is an investigation into this $100,000 contribution, donation, whatever you want to call it, to the mayor's office uh, from a, a, a developer, a San Diego developer called Sun Road Enterprises. They gave the mayor's office $100,000. There's all sorts of information, evidence, voicemails, um, city memos, uh, insiders who are saying that the mayor knew exactly what he was asking for. He was asking for money in exchange for essentially public land so that this project in Kearney Mesa could be completed. And what was the money spent on? I understand the mayor had a couple of pet projects he wanted right. to spend it on. Uh, it, it was spent on, from what we understand, a veterans memorial project and some biking initiative. What that is, we're still not exactly sure, but he did return the money. How did you uncover this? Well, we have sources inside City Hall. We have sources uh, at the Department of Justice. Uh, initially, it was just as simple as there were some things going on in the mayor's office as far as staff being replaced um, or staff leaving. There were um, issues between him and the city attorney, and we were curious about these things, and we went looking for the mayor and found out that he was on a junket in France. And we start looking at where he is, what he's doing, how he's doing it, and also there were questions about this $100,000 contribution. So it kind of came up with all the other red it, there flags. There were all that these were... balls in the air, mm -hmm. and we're trying to find him to ask questions about them, uh, and he's nowhere to be found. Well, we have been trying to contact the mayor as well mm -hmm. in, uh, for a response uh, to the story. We have not heard back from him in, in time for the airing of uh, this segment. Um, have you heard back from him and or have you heard of what he has said about this? The, the mayor, the only time he has addressed this directly was a week ago today, Friday, when uh, he had a press conference for the entire media, his, uh, uh, I guess it's his monthly right. uh, Assemble the Media press conference. And he basically said he had no idea about this. He blamed it on his former, now former Deputy Chief of Staff, Alan Jones, saying that he was the one who coordinated the entire donation for public land uh, deal. But we have a lot of, uh, I, I guess you can call them smoking guns. There, there are memos, there are city staff who have said that's not true. And then the biggest smoking gun is probably this voicemail left by the developer's vice president at City Hall saying, we've given the mayor the money, now you guys know what to do. And did the mayor say, and, and I can't remember this exactly, but I thought he said he gave the money back. He did. So if there was no money, he, but he said he had no knowledge of it, but he gave the money back with no knowledge of it. Yeah, he gave the money back, and I actually asked him directly, why'd you give the money back? Was this an ethical issue for you? And his response wa was, yeah, it was an ethical issue that, that they don't get something for nothing in, in San Diego. You can't, you can't have public land if you're not going to give something back for it. Now, I understand the city council approved the Kearney Mesa easement. That was the mm -hmm. original, uh, the, the person, the developer who brought right. this in with an eight to zero vote. What does the city council say about this? The city council was ready to, to make this go through so that a project could happen in San Diego. That, was, that seems to be the motivation there. The mayor vetoed it. So he made a point, and he's said this continually, that he made the point, you can't get something for nothing. He said that continually. Uh, about this issue until last Friday when he said all of a sudden didn't know much Anything about it. About it. Okay. Well, what happens next? How does this move forward then as far as an investigation? The, the Department of Justice will investigate the FBI, the U.S. Attorney's Office, all the entities involved in, in the Department of Justice. They'll uh, come up with what they come up with and, and keep in mind an investigation is a long way from an indictment um, so at this point it's just investigating it's gathering information it's talking to people it's pulling files it's it's trying to figure out what happened okay 10 news investigative reporter Mitch Blocker we look forward to your uh, future reports on this thanks again for joining us with this update thanks for having me